start with Nikos Diamond. Nikos Diamond recently we put out a mandatory offer to shareholders. NASA currently has a 44% stake. The equity has been increased as part of an effort by NASA to consolidate holdings in insu in the insurance sector, a strategy that will be deployed in other sectors where NASA has interests. The idea there for NASA is to ensure that we are our investing companies are delivering value. The reality in terms of consolidation and taking control is that the authority would like a stronger voice in addressing governance issues of investing companies. It's a voice that we have started, uh, that we have started out in the public domain. Uh, and many of you have reported on certain um, interventions that we've had in many of our investing companies. Ultimately, what's key for NASA is we want conscionable remuneration of boards and management teams. We want transparency. We want disclosure. We want increased uh, dividends. But all of that we are asking for is not saying to our investing companies, they alone must do it. We believe what's good for the goose must be good for the gander. In that NASA itself, in putting out our, our 2016 account, will itself make full disclosures of what our remuneration is as board members and as executives. We'll make disclosures as to what related party transactions have been done. We'll make disclosures as to our attendance at board meetings. We'll also make disclosures as to the evaluation process of our board. Again, what we ask of our investing companies, we are doing ourselves. Cold Storage Commission, clearly a strategic a strategic asset for the country, a national asset in all respects. The cold storage, uh, a project which resides in, in Bulawayo. Many of the accusations that NASA often gets is that NASA is Harare-centric. We are not Harare-centric. We're a fund that appreciates our contributors come from all parts of, of Zimbabwe. And in so doing, we seek to invest and participate in all parts of the country. In line with our commitment to investing in national projects of a strategic nature, such as agriculture and infrastructure, we are working with government to resuscitate CSC. And this process has begun and will continue through the course of the year. Indicatively, indicatively we are looking to invest up to 18 million. We believe this will unlock value in the livestock industry through job creation, foreign currency earnings, and increased contributions to the benefits of our contributors and pensioners and the economy at large. Progress